Peace and love, family. It's your girl, Six of Goddess. And keep in mind, I'm a goddess and I'm sensitive about my shift. How y'all doing? Hope y'all doing good. So I wanted to make this quick video to talk about this because this is literally becoming out of control. Okay, this is just becoming more than what I imagined it ever would grow into. And it's getting ridiculous. So I wanted to talk about why I will never get the vacation, the jab, the stick, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Why I will never get it under any circumstance whatsoever. Okay. I find it strange that in 2021, it has been deemed okay. I cannot tell you how many people have come to me like, did you, did you get the vaccine? Did you get the vaccine? And I'm like, excuse me, why I never? When did it become okay to question people about their personal medical decisions? Okay, when did that become okay? I just wanna let it be known. The next person that asked me, did you I'm gonna just be like, Like, it's rude. Let me just say that first. So rude to where I'm like, it's time to really speak on this because this is a dark rabbit hole. The rabbit hole is my whole issue with this whole vacation thing. And y'all know what I mean when I say vacation. Um, before we go any further, y'all, please like the video and please subscribe to my channel for dope original content as well as, you know, short uploaded content like this. Appreciate it. So the number one reason why I will never get the vacation, again, is because of the rabbit hole. You have to understand these viruses are man-made, okay? And if man can make one, they can make another and then another. And before you know it, they literally can roll it out to where they are popping up with a sensational new deadly virus every year. At some point, you have to say enough is enough. My style is I like to stop it before it can start. Don't y'all start that. I'm going to stop you right there. Now, I wanted to also be clear that this is my opinion. Okay, this is my opinion and the decision I have made for myself and my family. This video is not for any type of medical advice or to judge anybody based off of what they did. I am simply speaking my mind on why I personally will never get it. All right, let me just throw that out there. If you got it, that's on you. That's fine. Nobody is, you're grown. You're grown. I can't do anything about it. Okay. I want to protect my freedom. The freedom to choose what you eat, what medications you take, what, va what vacations or whatever you put into your body is very sacred in my opinion. You have laws that affect everyone in a blanket form, regulations that affect everyone in a blanket form, but it is very specific for anyone outside of yourself to have a say so on what you have to put inside your body. I have a problem with that. We all have different medical history, medical conditions, different medical needs. You cannot blanket, give a blanket, oh, everyone needs to take this or everyone needs to do that. You cannot do that. There's only one blanket substance that everyone needs and that's water. And even with that, there are some people allergic to water. So you still can't even put water for everyone. You see what I'm saying? So that's my number one thing. I'm stopping you before you can get far at all to let you know you will never, okay? You will never, you know, invade my freedom to that extent to where you're going to tell me what I specifically have to put into my body, okay? I also believe in something called micro force, like micro forcing. So to me, it's very manipulative to say, oh, well, you all have your freedom and your choice of whether to get it or not. But if you don't get it, you're going to lose your job and we're going to take your kids away and we're going to take away your career. But you don't have to get it. 
That is a micro forcing. It's a microaggression that gets dangerous. I understand. I am humble enough to know we're not in control here. And the only control we do have is that of what we're putting inside our bodies. And I personally will not ever let them play with me like that. I also want to note, in case you haven't noticed, that I am black. Black and eat black, black, black. There is no such thing as a black person being a conspiracy theorist when it comes to this whole nation thing. There is a consistent, factual, proven history, okay, of why me as a black person should not be trusting the medical industry in big pharma in any way, shape, or form. Do not gaslight me. Do not tell me I'm being a hotep or a shea butter or I'm woke. This is not about any of that. This is a fact that my people have historically consistently been used as guinea pigs. And then some people say, well, they don't know what race scenes are going to. Everything distributed by any medical company, food companies are distributed based upon location. Location leads to what? Demographics. I also want to let it be known that the man will always, though they don't mind sacrificing some of their own and step over their dead bodies too as casualties of war to get agendas they need pushed. So the whole thing, well, white people are taking that. Um, it doesn't matter. And yes, they do have a way to decide which vacations go to which demographic and which area. Cool. I also am extremely alarmed by the fact that when the you know what virus, when people were dying from the virus, and this is no disrespect to anyone who has had a loved one or family member pass from the virus. However, I find it extremely concerning that Anyone who passed, they were quick to say they died from that without doing a pathology report, autopsy report of any way, shape, or form. But then on the opposite spectrum, when you have had people pass from the vacation, all of a sudden it's, we have to look into it, we have to study, we have to do an autopsy. Not you, the same ones where people were dropping like flies and y'all were like, it's the, how do you know? I remember back in the days where people died of other shit. Those were the good old days. I ain't seen a bit die from nothing but but the, the sea in two years. It's miraculous, you know? I do not like how the, you know, passing from it is instantly reported, but the deaths from the vacation, the health issues from the vacation are kept super quiet and they're told that they need to be investigated. The next thing I heard is that people are getting it because... People in the medical industry are getting it. Okay, let me say this first. I would never become a lawyer. Why? Because I do not believe in the American justice system. So I feel like if you become a lawyer, you believe in it in some way, shape, or form. There's something about it you agree with or maybe you want to help with. I don't know. You have to understand, people in the medical field, they believe in this. They trust this. This is who pays their bills. So they have a biased perspective. No, the other part about that is this. Do you think that it could be possible that the vacations that doctors and medical professionals are receiving could be different than the vacations they're selling on Martin Luther King Boulevard at Walgreens in the hood for free or giving away for free, should I say? I don't think those will be the same vacations. OK, so I don't care because a doctor took it. I don't care because the president took it. I don't care who took it. What you have may not be what's available to me. And it's just not a risk I'm willing to take. My other issue is this. With these vacations, you cannot say, oh, this isn't working for me. OK, go ahead and take it out. It's just it's not agreeing with me. No, once they're in you, that's it. They attach themselves to your DNA and your chromosomes like ticks on a deer. And that's it. Okay. My next point is I believe in self-preservation. I am not waiting on the man or the government to tell me, oh, hey guys, um, we looked into this 
and this is actually unhealthy and it actually was an issue. No, I believe in being proactive, seeing patterns, doing research. Due to patterns and research I have seen, you guys cannot be trusted, okay? And the fact that you guys are saying, here, take this, but we can't be held liable is extremely alarming to me. So we know when we see those commercials where they're like, have you or a loved one been affected by mesothelioma? If you have, you may be entitled to compensation. Uh, if and when this goes left, the worst part about it is it won't even be you're entitled to compensation. It'll be my bad. We sorry. It'll be a sorry card in the mail. Okay. I also, my also, my other point is, I'm still young. I want to have children. I want to get married. I want to have some babies. I have to be careful about what I'm putting in my body. Another point that people were saying is that, well, there's other things that are, that are bad for us too that we do. Yeah, driving is bad for us. You can get in a car and you can get into an accident, okay? But what does that mean? You're going to try your best. You're going to put on your seatbelt, do your best to drive carefully, not text and drive. I'm not going to say, well, getting in a car is already dangerous, so I'm just not going to wear my seatbelt. I'm going to do 100 down the highway, and I'm going to look this way when I'm driving. No, I'm going to take the knowledge of the situation and do what I can to ensure my safety the best way I can. I understand that nothing in life is guaranteed. But that also does not mean, well, it's other stuff bad for me. So F it, it just doesn't mean that to me. The next reason is, I don't care if they said without the vacation, you cannot breathe the oxygen outside. I'm still not getting it. Because I can't enjoy a concert or a vacation or, a, you know, a plane ride if I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> or debilitated and, and unhealthy and can't and bedridden. Okay. If something happens where I had no foresight that this could happen, I did not have an, a way to see this going in a direction is totally different than having this vacation that was developed you know, overnight and is being tested and on real life people and being forced. Like, why do y'all care so much? Okay. Then I've heard some people say, well, y'all, y'all took, uh, y'all took vacations when y'all was younger. Y'all been taking them. Uh, first of all, no, there's a lot of people who has never took those vacations. Number two, I don't know what generation y'all are in, but I'm in a generation where when we were kids, we had chicken pox, okay? And a lot of us had to get chicken pox. I remember when they rolled out the vaccine, it was a lot of people that got sick from that. It's a lot of people who did get sick from it, had adverse effects, and it literally is like 30 years later. Now it's effective, but a lot had to happen before that, okay? So this is a year Okay, we haven't seen how this is going to affect pregnancy, childbirth, fertility, health, blood flow. We just haven't seen that yet. It's a risk I'm not willing to take. I'm not willing to risk my life knowingly. I'm not willing to. I'm able to do the research. I'm able to see that this is very shaky and I still go for it. I saw the signs. I cannot allow that for myself. Okay? So that's how I feel. You do you. That's my opinion. That's my answer. I don't care. Well, what about this? What about that? No. And the very fact, see, my thing is this. If everybody, this is when we start looking sheepish. Because if everybody said, no, it's going to be our choice if we do it or not. You're not going to tell us we have to. Okay? If everyone said, no, we're not doing it, they have no choice but to go with that. They can't fire everyone. They can't take away everyone's money. But it's the fact that for the majority of people that go with it, that's what makes the people who want to make their own decision feel forced. We have to know who has the real power. We shouldn't be, oh, we got to get this or else we're going to get fired or we can't go here or we can't go there. No, everyone needs to be saying no. You're not about to force us to put something in our body. If we, you can force this, you can force something else, and that can get dark, okay? So everyone, make the best decision for you. This is my personal opinion. Please like the video. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.